sustainability is important because otherwise in 50 years our planet will not be able to uh, kind of feed the world uh, and we have to basically work on, on long-term sustainability and bioeconomy is central to, to a sustainable development strategy. We have to change the CAP now. Um, the bulk of subsidies are going into uh, payments that are paid based on how much land you own. Um, we're spending a third of the EU budget, or nearly a third in this way, and that we need to be much, much smarter with taxpayers' money um, and scarce resources. We are talking about that for six, seven years now, but we're still talking. We should be starting and implementing that and then my bottom line is the role of active civil society, bottom-up initiatives, farmers cooperating, working together with the regional governments, with the municipalities, with the local governments, with the national governments, of course. And I think also very important to have the regional clusters for the bioeconomy because we all are different regions. The crucial element is so-called strategic plan which will be done at national level and we certainly hope that uh, some of the bioeconomic principles will be applied to this this part of the CAP. It's something new and we haven't seen that yet so this is quite interesting also for us to, to promote this. But of course it re requires and needs some additional support from EU level and one of which is actually research which is an important part of the multi-annual financial framework. We support the 10 billion allocation for bioeconomy and this sector research specifically but it has to deliver. We need to be able to demonstrate that we can actually do things better and in a more sustainable manner and in this respect European research funding would help. We may change the model and uh, give to the farmers the opportunity to have a complement of revenue and complement of revenue can be made with bioeconomy, uh, producing energy, uh, producing uh, uh, new, uh, new services and uh, uh, new materials. You can now today take uh waste from the, the forest sector and make textiles out of it and it's much more environmental friendly than taking cotton for instance. Or you can use uh, food waste side streams to do bio-based plastics or, or minerals out of this. So there's a lot of things you can do there. So this is more technology development to help circularity. Then we have one which is looking more at taking the bioeconomy local. So we want to uh, make help farmers uh, benefit from the bioeconomy. We want to bring solution to coastal regions. Uh, we also want to help with those member states that haven't developed the bioeconomy strategies. Uh, we have set up a financial instrument to help SMEs to, to work on it. We're all really aware of the challenging circumstances that we're facing um, globally, but also in Europe. Um, we're also aware of things like the IPCC report and the consequences of, of climate change and what they're likely to be. We know, for example, with industrial biotechnology, it has the potential to save between 1 and 2.5 billion uh, tonnes of CO2 um, annually. How we use land, how we use resources um, and for us it was about getting the message across that um, we need to quite urgently um, make, that, make that land use, make that resource use sustainable um, and that we don't have much time um, and that we should start kind of as soon as possible. So I think it's win-win for everyone, for a planet, for a human being, for environment and for economy. So we should implement that as soon as possible not wait for another six or seven years.